Okay, I'm going to try and play um, for the first time on an actual computer. I'm going to play 10-5 this time so I have a little increment so I don't feel like if I'm a little below on the clock I'm going to lose. Okay, I'm trying the Scandinavian now. I'm doing the chessable course, um, the free version. I haven't gotten that far into it so I'll probably be out of book pretty quickly. Like I, I'm used to them before. Okay, this transposes. Let's see what's happening. Okay, I think the move is that. Okay, I'm supposed to take, I believe. So they talk about this e6, c6 bind. That's supposed to be pretty good. I guess I'll break the pin. I guess I'll give myself the option to castle along if necessary. Or do I want to just go for it? Hmm. So do I want to send the pawns down, or do I want to send the A pawn? Like, do I want to send the A pawn down first, or just swing the queen up, and then bring the bishop over? Let me do that. OK, if you lose the knight, I'm going to take on A2. Otherwise, I'm going to bring the bishop to b4, threatening to take on a2. OK, let's see here. So I'd like to play b5, but then c6 is weak. If I bring the knight over, what can I, how can I do this? Hmm. I want to reroute the knight on d7 to d5, maybe? I don't want to block the queen in. Hmm. You know, is it so bad if he takes this C pawn? Open up a file for me. All right, let me castle. Then push. And I'll swing my rook over to C8. From the F file. And then make my push. All right, let's see. Is, do I have any tactic here? Takes, if I take the knight, he takes the bishop. I'm, oh no, he's gonna take my queen. Um, I think I wanna keep my queen here. I think I wanna keep my queen here. Where do I wanna put it? Oh shoot, no, no. I couldn't have done that. Where do I want to put it? If I take, if I take the queen, he takes back with the knight. Huh. All right, let me bring it right back here to b6.
This square is looking kind of juicy for his knight. So I kind of want to get rid of that knight. I take back with my knight. Looks like we might have bishops of opposite color. Do I want that? Looks like he's coming on the attack. All right, if he attacks on the flank, I'm gonna strike back in the center. Let's put that rook in the center. Starting to put some pressure on this pawn. Maybe c5 is gonna come at some point. What about right away? What if takes the knight, bishop takes, then I play e5, then he's going to push. How do I want to do this? All right, let's take this first. Okay. What happens if I push e5? Then he plays d5. Got one attacker and he has a multitude of defenders. Um, is there anything wrong with trying to double up here? I think not. Think not. He'll probably play C three at some point. What if I play I mean, he's probably going to play queen to d3. I'll probably have to play g6. Then he's going to start pushing the h pawn. No, but if he plays queen to d3, I can take with check. He probably has to play h4 first. Okay, let's see what's happening now. He's pinned. No, the queen. Okay. All right, let's just start getting the heavier pieces on the d file. Got three attackers. There comes another defender. Um, what can I do? Is there a tactic here? If I push this pawn here, threatening to take this pawn. Yeah, let's just do it. As Greg Shahadi would say, let's just do it. Okay, now this is definitely a tactic for me, I think. What, am I missing something? I don't think so. It's good. It's good for me. It's pinned, and it's over. A win. Okay in the books.